Friday, I'm looking like hell because there was an incident this morning that happened and I just got done relaxing for a while on the bed. Um, I'll tell you guys like the full rundown quickly because I don't want the whole vlog to be contained of my bull crap. <laughs> um, so this morning, um, I was going down to finish mowing the yard and first thing that happened this morning at like nine in the morning <laughs> I get down get ready to mow and look up and there is a cow right down my driveway standing and my mom was actually coming down the road to give me some diapers because I had ran out of diapers we didn't realize that we were like that low <laughs> Um, I think I had like a couple in my diaper bag, but I asked her if she had any extra so I could get by until I get to the store to buy some, and she had a bunch down there, so. Anyways, there was a cow, Otis was out, loose, so we had to jump in my mom's car so she could bring us up here so the cow did not like run at us. So yeah, a cow got out, so that was the first thing that happened this morning that was started off being stressful. <laughs> So I had to find the people on the way back from town. We went to town, did some errands with my mom, me and Cole did. My husband was at work today. Today's Friday, July 3rd. And we come back here and Otis is missing. He was off the porch. The cow was in my backyard when I left. So Otis jumped off the porch and chased the cow. God only knows where, because when we got back, Otis was not here. Um, I got out of the car and my mom took Cole and down to her house so she could unload groceries. Okay, so back to a couple hours later, we actually ended up taking Carson's stuff, my husband's son, for his birthday down to him and we stopped by the camp and we hung out there for a little while and it was, it was a good little couple hours. So we're back home now, took a bath, put the baby to bed, now I took uh, washed my hair because my hair needed washed. <laughs> um, I don't want to get back to the story that I was telling you guys about this morning and be done with it. But I think I left off where I got home, got out of the car. Um, I was feeling really hungry and I just started to kind of feel like, um, the best way I know how to describe it is like I got really shaky and I don't know, but this is not something that ever really happens to me, but like I just got really shaky and felt really like kind of weird I don't know so I walked down to my mom's because she took Cole down there to put her groceries away and when I was walking down the hill my legs felt like jello and they just felt shaky and I noticed that it was like I was just like really caught off guard by it and then at that point I was probably worrying too much about it so I think I like kind of set myself into a little bit of a panic attack but um I just didn't really know what to do so I got down there and I told my mom and she's like I was like maybe my sugar dropped because I know my dad because my dad actually has type 2 diabetes and he deals with his sugar dropping on him sometimes so he kind of knows what to do in that sense and he was actually at the camp but I remember him saying that he would drink orange juice to bring his sugar back up and so that's what I did I drank some orange juice ate a couple pieces of chocolate because I thought maybe my sugar was dropping because that's like I felt really bad and shaky and just kind of like weak like lightheaded like it was really strange and it came out of nowhere so um I don't really know if it was just like effects if I was having a panic attack from it or if my sugar actually dropped um I don't know so my mom took me to the emergency room because I begged to go because I thought I was dying, because it literally was scary. So she takes me to the ER, my pap and him come and get coal, and I'm in there for a couple hours. They took my blood, they took my pee, they took my sugar, um, blood pressure, they did an EKG on me. I've never had one of those done, but it was basically just to, like take a picture of my heart and make sure that the rhythm was good and everything is my understanding from that. Um, everything was 
normal. So everything come back normal. They did say my pee was like, I mean, it, it said that I was hydrated, but it also like, he told me to drink more water. So maybe like I wasn't drinking enough. I told him about my sun exposure, about being out in the sun for like, long period of time and it's like 90 degrees outside basically for like a week now and he told me just to like lay off of the sun and stay out and rest and drink a lot of water so i don't know how to explain it to you guys but i kind of feel just really crappy in my head like i don't know how to explain that but i just feel kind of bleh. like i don't know how to explain it it feels like sinuses so i might have some sinus issues some allergy issues as well that kind of made me feel weird, you know, but the shakiness, I have no idea why I was shaking like that. It was odd. So I got to the hospital though, and then I felt once I was in there and they did everything, I started to feel better. So I don't know what happened to me, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. That was my day, long ass day. Being in the emergency room, I literally did not know what was wrong and everything come back normal. So I don't know. So I think I'm going to relax now for a little bit, watch some TV and rest because I still don't really feel like the best. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Cole's got his 4th of July outfit on. Happy Independence Day. So we all got a good night rest last night. We're feeling pretty good. I'm still feeling a little fuzzy headed and I realized that there is a word for the way that I was feeling in my head and I found it on my phone, it's called fuzzy. So that is a good way to describe, I'm not so much dizzy, I'm fuzzy, meaning like it just feels all bleh. And that's sinuses and allergies. I have allergies really bad. So I'm gonna make sure I get back on taking my medicine because I think a lot of my issues yesterday was maybe allergies and making me feel funny and then I probably just had a panic attack honestly I don't know but anyways I wish I could have just waited it out yesterday instead of going to the emergency room but I literally thought I was going to die or something so if anybody's ever been in that situation then you know how you feel I know how you feel it's scary to think that you're gonna die I make my bed every morning I'm gonna go do something with my hair. It's gonna be 90 degrees, so my hair is going up, unfortunately, but I am gonna put a little bit of makeup on. I'm actually gonna do some waterproof eyeliner because we're going to the camp. Um, I'm not really sure if we were gonna try to work on some more trees this morning before we go, like cutting down the rest of the trees, or if we're just going to bypass that and do it on Sunday morning um, before we go back to the camp. So, I don't know what we're gonna do, but I do know we need to go to the store whenever we leave out of here to go to the camp we got to get a couple snacks and stuff to take down there some drinks for the day because we're planning on spending the whole day there today and we're actually throwing my aunt um we're actually throwing my aunt a surprise party for her birthday at the camp and she has no clue as far as i know that that is going to take place so i think she'll be really surprised and cut off guard i'll try to get some clips of it tonight because I'm going to take you guys with me. Um, all my co little cousins are down there. They're way older than Cole. They're like 10 to 12, 10 to 15, I think, is how old they are now. And I can't believe that they're actually that old because I remember when they were just small. And you guys have probably seen them in my old vlogs. But they all are staying this weekend down at the camp. And we were literally like the only couple that didn't stay last night at the camp, at our little family campground. But... Bad, bad, bad. It'll get better. <laughs> One day we will be able to just spend the whole week in there and it'll be fine. But that's just how it is sometimes. What? What? Well, I'm in here, bud. I'm going to do my hair real quick. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think we're going to do some pigs. Hi. I think I'm going to do something. I'm greasy. <laughs> I just ate an egg sandwich so I feel like I got grease all over me. So, I had to do the French braid because, like I said, there was only one hair tie in there. <laughs> so, I gotta buy some more freaking hair ties because I thought I had a whole pack of hair ties and they're all gone. I don't know what happened to them all. So, um, <laughs> uh, please tell me I'm not the only one. <laughs> so, I look crazy, but I got 
some scotch tape on. I'm going to do a little bit, I'm going to show you guys this waterproof liner that I have because I highly recommend it and it's really cheap and affordable. Um, but I like it. It's by the brand Wet n Wild. I think you can buy this at Dollar General, I think is where I bought this. And it's HT, H2O proof liquid eyeliner. But I like this. It stays on really good and it's waterproof. Everything that it says it is and it's really pigmented. And it's only like a couple bucks. So if you guys are looking for a cheap, affordable um, liquid eyeliner, I definitely recommend this one. Uh, so this is the look. <laughs> the only thing I'm not wearing is foundation because I don't like to wear foundation when it's hot outside because it just felt feels like it just melts off my face. And um, for right now, my face is actually pretty clear, so I just did a little concealer. Um, I've had this lipstick for so long, and I never wear it because it's like really, really red. So um, it's the CoverGirl. I did a review on this like years ago. This is how long I've had this, so it's probably honestly needs replaced. But it's the Succulent Cherry in CoverGirl lipstick. I don't even know if they still sell these because this was like really old. But a lot of my makeup I've had for years because I don't wear makeup all the time. And I did the waterproof eyeliner. I did a little bit of white um, eyeliner underneath my waterline, which is the Wet n Wild brand. Same as the waterproof eyeliner. I think this thing only costs like 98 cents. So I did that. And then we did a little mascara, which right now I am using the Voluminous. Um, Million Lashes by L'Oreal Paris, I believe is what it is. And I like it okay. I think I like the Lash Paradise a little bit better, but like I said, the Lash Paradise has a little bit of a drying out issue that kind of I don't like about it. So, we did some highlight and a little bit of bronzer and concealer. Yeah, I think I said that. But that's it. That was the makeup look. I don't ever wear makeup, but this is what I'm wearing for my outfit for the 4th of July. Cole has a little 4th of July outfit shirt on. My husband, I don't think, has anything. But this cute top I bought at Walmart for 10 bucks. It's got some lace detailing up here. And then the back is really cool. The top, like, crisscrosses. And then the shorts. I love these shorts. They're high-waisted. Um, I don't remember where I bought these, to be honest with you guys. But... They got double buttons right here, and then they got a little, I got a little bit of blue, see, my blue, and then the shorts are kind of like a light white. So I got my collars on for 4th of July, and the back of this shirt is longer than the front, and it just ties, so. That is a 4th of July look. So we're getting ready to take Cole for a ride um, so that way he can take a nap because we want to be here probably till I would say probably till six or seven tonight probably till bedtime because yeah. Yeah. we want to hang out <laughs> and Cole needs to take a nap so it's about 1 30 right now so we're gonna take him on a drive Otis is gonna stay here with my mom and the rest of my family they got him right now down there at their place um, there's a lot of boaters coming down now and tubers and the river's getting pretty busy as far as that goes. We were in the water now two different times since we've been here and we was in there for a good while. So my husband's getting the fishing poles and stuff and bringing it up here and then we are going to uh, get down the road a little bit and see if Cole will actually go to sleep or not. I don't know if he will but we're going to find out. So. Tell him you're sleepy tired. Tell him you're tired. <laughs> uh, hopefully he'll go right to sleep and we can take like a drive to town or something, somewhere where we can stay on the roads pretty yeah. good so he can take a nap. I hope that he does, so we will see.
right guys so we're home now my battery is going dead i did not realize how dead my camera is but it's been a long day um they're setting fireworks off here in my town which is actually not that far from where i live it's just like right over the mountain way there and i'm not sure if you couldn't see the fireworks from here since last year we wasn't moved in this house at this time so i don't really know if you can see fireworks from where i live or not um maybe but i'm not gonna swear to it but that'd be really cool if we could see them um normally we would just go to town and watch them but we haven't watched the fireworks in like two or three years because um you know every time they let the fireworks off it's like it's got to be dark outside and by that time it's way past cole's bedtime so well it's not Ah. It's clear, I guess. Look at this. It's just like. Look at the cat. Look at Happy Fourth of July, baby. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth. <laughs> hey guys, good morning or good afternoon. It's actually three o'clock. The next day, it is Sunday, we're at the camp. Me and my husband have been having a day and I just have not vlogged because we was having a good time and I just kind of forgot about vlogging, honestly. But I just was getting ready to change my clothes and I saw my camera in the backpack. So I was like, better come on here and say a little bit, I don't know. But we just patched up a little hole behind the bed back here. We're a, uh, pretty sure that's how the, mo the mouse was getting in. I don't know if you guys can see that down there, but we stuffed some steel wool in it. We might have to get some more though because I don't know if it's going to be enough. But I'm looking scary because I had makeup on and we got in the water because it was 90 degrees and it's too hot not to be in the water down here. So I'm getting dressed. So yeah, we're going to pack up here and head home. Um, Cole stayed with his big sister today, so we've been enjoying a little alone time down here. We had a really good day. We was treasure hunting in the river. My husband actually lost his wedding band in the river. <laughs> so, somebody finds that, then I guess it'll be a pretty good treasure find, you know? But, we didn't really find much, but we did find a little tackle box. My uncle found a pair of nice sunglasses, and I think my cousin found some fishing poles. I lost two pairs of my goggles, so next time I go to Walmart, I'm going to have to get a new pair of goggles, but I think tomorrow my husband gets off work and comes home, I'm going to go grocery shopping, so I'll probably do a little grocery haul tomorrow for you guys. I don't know if it'll be a separate video from this or not. Goodbye to the camp for now. Okay guys, since this vlog was not very eventful, I'm going to include today's grocery haul on it. The 4th of July weekend just wasn't like, like we had a good time, but like it just wasn't the most, um, I don't know. I didn't get a lot of like festive stuff included in the vlog. I just vlogged like a little bit this weekend. Um, so it was kind of my fault for not vlogging some more of the detailed stuff that we did. What are you doing? So Cole's been out here for a little bit. It's really early in the morning. My parents aren't home yet. Today's Monday. My husband went to work. So it's me and Cole. I just got done finally getting dressed. It's 8.15. I was a little lazy this morning. Did not want to get out of bed. So I just laid in there forever when I should have got up and got ready before Cole got up because it's really hard to get even dressed with Cole. This is the top shelf, which is just like bull crap. This my husband dress. You guys, you guys probably know how men are, but I like things to be at a certain place in the fridge, and my husband just puts stuff wherever. I like to try to keep it organized, but it always gets messed up. So, yeah, we need to restock a couple of things, and I think we need to get some more eggs too because there's not very many left in there. But I made a whole list over here that we're gonna go get groceries at Walmart. Um, they actually, I'm pretty sure, made ma wearing masks mandatory in West Virginia today. At least I think it's happening today. So, 
I'm gonna make sure I wear my mask going into Walmart. And I'm gonna get my stuff and get the hell out. I'm gonna call my mom here in a little bit because she's still down at the camp. And Walmart is only like a couple miles from the camp. So I was gonna actually see if they would watch Cole while I ran to Walmart and got groceries, come back, get him, bring him home. Because the reason is, is because I don't know what time my husband will be off and I don't wanna try to go get groceries when I'm gonna cook dinner tonight. <sighs> So I just don't like to go late in the evening to do my errands. I hate it actually. I'm a morning person. I like to go and get stuff done and out of the way. And then the rest of my day I can have to do whatever I want. So that is just what I like to do. But here's my list of everything that I'm getting today. And there is a lot of stuff to be honest. So we're doing tacos tonight, spaghetti tomorrow, then leftovers, and we're doing breakfast for dinner. Then I'm making something new. It's called chicken parmesan in the crock pot. And then we're doing um, eat out Saturday and then just like pizza. It's very basic crap that we eat every week, but like I wanted to do something easy this week. Okay, Cole. So I'm going to go get Cole dressed. Okay. Cole has been like... At a whole nother level this past week that me and my husband both were just kind of like, oh my lord. Alright, we're back at the house. I spent a total of like $194. This is like the most that I've spent in a while on groceries. So, um, we got a good bit of stuff today. Even my middle aisle encounter here has some stuff on it. Um, so, I'm not going to talk any further. I just want to get right into this because I got to put stuff away. I have Cole over there occupied with his mac and cheese. That was a beating trying to get all this stuff unpacked and and Cole was like hungry so that was a challenge but anyways all right we got this wild Mike's ultimate pizza these are really good I highly recommend these if you guys haven't tried these but they're really good they're only like five bucks I think at Walmart but they're really really good in the frozen pizza section we got my husband some of these chili cheese corn chips um, we got what Cole's eating right now which is just these premium cheese and shells and cheese we have two jars back here of marinara sauce because I'm going to make something new this week. We got Sloppy Joe sauce. I just picked two of these up. They're really, the Great Value brand is a really good deal and I think this stuff tastes pretty good. Okay, honey, wait a minute. We got some Great Value slider zipper bags and freezer bags. Um, this is, Cole's having one of these right now, but he loves these little Kool-Aid juices, so I got... Two of these, I got blue and grape for him. Got him some mini alphabet cookies he likes. We got these for my husband mainly, but Cole also likes these. So hopefully Cole will eat one of these too. But we got strawberry, cinnamon apple sauces. We got some Hot Pockets for Cole to have something different for lunch or something. Um, I get in like a bind where I don't know where to make what to make Cole because he's very picky. Um, we got some oatmeal. We just got like the different flavors. Um, we got some premium boxed mac and cheese. We got the old time butter bread. Um, we got some eggs, sugar, uh, some classic fat free ranch. That's for my husband. We got some mild sauce for tacos, some chunky chippers, cookies. I picked up these because they're reusable straws and they even come with like its little cleaner. Oh, some uncured beef franks. Some marshmallows. I'm going to do some s'mores, I think, because I bought this stuff for s'mores today. Milk chocolate, and the grams are somewhere. We got some mozzarella cheese, fruit snacks, townhouse crackers, some cheese slices, some Parmesan cheese, um, sour cream. Then we got pepper jack, which is my favorite cheese. We got Monterey, I cannot say that, Colby and Monterey Jack cheese slices. Um, I really think these are is a pretty good deal for this cheese at Walmart. It's, I don't think it costs that much. So I got two. Um, this was new. It says it's a new flavor of goldfish. So Cole loves those. But these are for me. I got my, my husband likes the other flavor and I like the honey barbecue flavor. I think they're so good. I could not resist these today because I love orange creamsicle um, pops. So I was like, okay, those look amazing. So I got these. <laughs> And we got some almond sweet and salty granola bars, blueberries, um, some crackers, some Fruit Loops for Cole to try something different. And if Cole doesn't like them, I will eat them because I like Fruit Loops. Um, we got some hamburger buns, some puffin corn, 
Miracle Whip, tomato ketchup. We got some sweet peas and sliced carrots. We got these little cheese dip snack things. Some cookies and cream, Pop-Tarts, my favorite, and Cole really likes these too. We got some sweet and sour sauce, because I am obsessed with sweet and sour sauce. Some spinach, we got a green pepper, two things of bananas, some juicy juice, some strawberries, some grapes. We also got some honey smoked turkey, salami, everything bagels, English muffins, gogurts. <laughs> We got some honey-made grams, and then I picked these up for Cole so we can stop going to McDonald's for hotcakes. We got buttermilk, buttermilk pancakes already made. And then in the center here, we have, don't pay attention to my dirty sink, we got some milk. Um, I picked these up for Cole, something different for him to try. So we got some Lunchable things. So we got some light Greek strawberry yogurt for me because that's what I like. My husband likes these, which is just the off-brand. Great value strawberry and strawberry banana. Cinnamon toaster cereal for my husband. Um, I found this because I'm obsessed with Pizza Hut's barbecue chicken pizza, but they're really expensive. So I wanted to, this was only five bucks. So some dog food. We switched Otis to regular dog food, like adult dog food now, because I think he's ready to have that. I'm at least he's almost a year old, so he should be ready for that. Um, we got some Windex and we got some bathroom cleaner and we got Otis some toys. We got him some tennis balls and we got this thing here. I don't know what it is. It's some kind of like chicken thing for Otis. So Cole, obviously you guys see what just happened is that Cole is going insane. So I'm going to try my best to put all this stuff away. I might film it real quick for you guys and just hurry up and try to get this stuff put away before everything melts because it is like 90 degrees outside. So wish me luck. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. You want to say bye? Say bye. Rotten butt. Bye guys.